Hi folks, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Please do hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It really does help when you do that. So today, folks, as you might have seen a few weeks ago, I've recently got hold of a 2x12 cabinet, which is sat behind me here. And I'm going to be making a few videos with this 2x12 over the coming months, primarily looking at speaker pairings. But today I wanted to explore something a little bit different, which is the difference between series and parallel wiring in a guitar cabinet. Now, if you want to skip straight to the comparison today, this is going to be a slightly longer intro, so I'll put the timestamp on screen now to where you can do that. That's absolutely fine. But essentially, there's two things we need to be aware of when comparing these two wirings in a 2x12. The first is the difference between series and parallel and how to hook them up. So the most common wiring to find in a guitar cabinet is parallel wiring. And essentially what that means is the positive input to the cabinet connects to the positive terminal on the first speaker and the same for the negative. And then you use jumper cables to take the positive from the first speaker and link it to the positive of the second speaker. So essentially the signal comes into the cabinet and it hits the first speaker and at that point the signal is split in equal wattage and both speakers receive the same wattage at exactly the same time. So in theory they should be driving perfectly together. But there is a second way of connecting the speakers, which is series wiring. And this is how the earliest Fox AC30 amps were wired. So essentially we take the positive input to the cabinet, connect it to the positive input of the first speaker. But then it's a little bit different. We take the negative of the first speaker and link it over to the positive of the second speaker. And then the negative output of the second speaker is what goes back into the amp and creates the loop. So it's a slightly different way of doing it. And I've read so much on forums over the years about the tonal differences and the feel differences under the fingers of these two wiring schematics, but I've never tried it for myself. So I'm genuinely excited to see how this video turns out today. Now, the second thing we need to be aware of is how connecting two speakers together affects the impedance you need from the output of your amplifier. Now, in the 2x12 today, I have two 8 ohm speakers and how we connect them will change the impedance that cabinet will be running at. So if you take two 8 ohm speakers and connect them in parallel, I will put the equations on screen now how to calculate this, but the best and most simplistic way of thinking about it is this. You can't mix speaker impedances in an amp. So I've got two 8 ohm speakers today. Running in parallel, you take that impedance and divide it by the number of speakers you've got. So two 8 ohm speakers running in parallel will require a 4 ohm input. However, running them in series, you essentially take the impedance of the two speakers and add them together. So two 8 ohm speakers running in series will require a 16 ohm output from the amp. And you don't want to be putting a 16 ohm output into a 4 ohm cab because you will destroy your output transformer. Don't do that. So to do this experiment today, I'm going to need an amplifier with both a 4 ohm and a 16 ohm tap on it. So I'm going to use my Dr. Z Z-Rec because that has 4, 8 and 16 ohm outputs so I can do this nice and safely. Now there is one question that I anticipate coming up in the comment section which is how running an amplifier at a different impedance affects the core tone of the amplifier. Because it depends who you listen to online, people aren't really decided on this. But in theory running an amp at 4 ohm and 16 ohm, essentially what you're doing is taking a tap from a different point on the output transformer. And some people say that the more of the output transformer you use, you will get more coloration and harmonic saturation from the transformer. So some people say that 16 ohm will sound a bit richer and thicker and more compressed than 4 ohm. So that is something to be aware of. I'm not sure about how much difference that makes in the real world, but just bear that in mind when you're hearing the results today. And as I said, I'm genuinely excited to hear what actually happens because some people say that running an amp will sound very different different at different impedances purely in terms of the amplifier before you even get into speakers and how they're connected. So as I said a very much a longer intro today but I think that's all important information to be aware of before you watch the comparison. So I'm going to do some cleaner playing, some low gain playing and some heavier gain playing today with three different guitars to hear what differences we can find at different gain ranges with those two wiring schematics in that 2x12. So without further ado folks Let's get going.
comment underneath let me know what you were hearing today which was your favorite out of series and parallel and why I love chatting nerdy guitar stuff with you folks in the comment sections now there were a few differences there but let's be honest they were very very subtle it's not like going from one amp to a completely different amp or anything like that now to my ears the parallel wiring sounded a little bit quieter overall why that is I'm not 100% sure and it sounded a bit thicker and sitting here in front of the cabinet it definitely felt more kind of punchy it was banging me in the back of the head a lot more in parallel over series but series did seem to have a little bit more kind of bite and sizzle in the upper mid range it was a bit thinner but it sounded a bit more kind of aggressive and fizzy not necessarily in a bad way now whether as I said at the start of the video whether that's down to the actual hookup of the speakers or down to the amp running at different impedances and getting more coloration from the output transformer I'm not 100% sure so any experts in physics please do comment underneath and let me know you know your thoughts on this I'd love to hear from you guys but that's what I was hearing today it's a subtle difference but there are a few changes there so thank you ever so much for watching folks uh, please do carry on subscribing I know I always say it but it does make a huge difference when you do that and I hope this video was interesting and useful for you when it comes to wiring up speakers in your cabinet so thanks folks and I will see you next time bye bye